Hi, my name is Colin. This is the NATS Connector Framework tutorial. What we'll be doing is creating a connector using the NATS Connector Framework to read from and write to files. I'm using IntelliJ IDEA. Any editor should work. Go ahead and create your new project. I'm choosing to use a Maven project for this. And then what we'll do is just choose a group ID and an artifact ID, IO, NETS, demo, let's do file connector. And to keep things simple, let's go ahead and use file connector again. All right, we've got a project set up. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the POM here. I've got some coordinates and dependencies that I've copied into a file. We'll go ahead and copy these. These are actually from the GitHub README on the NATS Connector Framework. We'll go ahead and import our changes. And as you can see, we've imported all of our dependencies that we need. And at this point, we should be ready to develop. Let's go ahead and create our first Java class. All right, so let's call our class file connector. We'll go ahead and create it. So with our new class, what we're going to do is have it implement the uh, NATS connector framework plugin interface. Editors these days are really nice and can do a lot of the work for you. So we'll just have it implement the methods for us. And here we go. We have a plugin. Now our job is just to fill in all the missing parts here. So one of the things we're going to want to do is save off references to objects that the NATS connector framework gives us. Uh, one being the connector. This is the object that lets us publish and subscribe. Um, the other being uh, the logger. We really don't have any need to make our own, so let's reuse the one that the connector framework gives us. Now, we've got to add a data source and a data sync for our connector. One of the things I've done is written a small class that um, uses files. What we'll do is read from and write to files in the temporary directory. Let's go ahead and paste our class in. And then now let's go ahead and get the uh, imports. Paste those in. Let's see if we compile. And we're good to go. Now let's take a closer look at the file data store class. So this class, when you instantiate it, creates a thread that then will publish a message on the file import subject. What it does is it loops through looking for a particular file. When it finds a file, reads the file contents into the message, publishes the message using the connector API, and then deletes the file. There's a finish API to shut things down, and a write API to write a byte array into a uh, file postfix with a file count. So now let's take a look at the onStartup method. The onStartup method is called when the plugin is loaded. The uh, logger is passed. The logger is from the connector framework itself. So let's save that off. Then there's Connection Factory. This is where you can set the username and password of the NATS connection that you might read from a configuration file you set up for your plugin. We want to succeed, so let's return true here. Now let's look at the onNATS initialize method, which is invoked by a successful connection to the NATS server. A NATS connector instance is passed. The connector instance allows you to publish and subscribe messages. And uh, then what we'll also want to do is subscribe here. So let's go ahead and subscribe to a subject file.export. Now let's create an instance of our file data store. So we want a class variable here, file data store. We'll add that. And then scroll back down. Let's go ahead and create a new instance. And if you recall, this will create a thread at this point, which then starts looking for files on the file system. 
What we want to do is handle the exception that can be thrown from connector subscribe. And let's just log it. And connector subscribe, if it cannot subscribe, we definitely want to return false here. So we'll want to prevent the connector from going ahead and starting. So let's return false. Otherwise, we do want to succeed. Now let's talk about the onnets message method. This method is invoked anytime a message arrives on the subject we've subscribed to through the connector. So what we'll do here is really straightforward. We'll just write to the file data store the message contents. And next, let's look at the on NATS event. This method is invoked anytime an event happens in NATS, namely connected, disconnected, reconnected, or an asynchronous error. For our purposes here with this simple connector, we'll just go ahead and log it. And finally, there is on shutdown. This is where you clean up your resources. So we'll just finish the file data store. And now we need a way to run our new connector here. So let's set up a main. And what we need to do is to set a system property that will let the connector framework know to run an instance of this plugin. So what we're gonna do is set the connector plugin class and we're gonna set it to this class's name. And then we'll go ahead and launch an instance of the connector. We'll need to handle some exceptions here. And let's go ahead and build. Now let's go ahead and try to run. We should fail because there's no server running. But let's go ahead and we'll get one set up and going. So we'll go ahead and we'll start our server here. And let's take a look at our temp directory where we're going to be reading and writing files from. Make sure it's empty. All right, it's empty. And then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and publish to file export hello from Nats. This should fail, and, or the publish should succeed but we shouldn't see any file generated because the connector isn't running. Nothing there as we expected. So let's go ahead, start the connector. Looks like the connector's up and running. And we'll do this again. All right. We have a file. Let's take a look at the file contents. It should say hello from Nats. Hello from Nats. All right, so we've got the file connector working from Nats to generating files. Now let's go ahead and try this the other way around. We're going to use Nats sub on file import. By the way, Nats pub and Nats sub are the um, examples, the Go examples you'll find in Nats. So now we're subscribing. And what we're going to do is edit our file that our file connector is looking for. So we'll look at Nat send here. Let's go ahead. We'll edit it. Let's uh, add some content. Let's see uh, file contents. Okay, we'll save our file. And there we go. We have a working connector in about 10 minutes. So go out and see what you can build. Thank you.